I'm Debbie Birch and I'm with the Queen Anne's County Office of Tourism and we're here today to talk about one of the events that happens at, during the Queen Anne's County Fair which is August 11th through the 16th at the 4-H Park in Centerville and this event it's called the cream of the crop and it's not about crops it's about cows and I have Faith Elliott Rossing with me and she represents the Holstein Association and we're going to talk a little bit about what the cream of the crop show is and all, all that goes with it. So I, first I have, because everybody thinks cream of the crop and you think of crops or vegetables or whatever, and it's cows. And it is cows indeed. So tell us about the show, what is involved and who can enter and... Well, the show's been in place for probably 10 years or so, and okay. it was started by Jack and Lisa Palmateri and modeled essentially after the Futurity over at the State Fair. It's a cow show that's um, on a Friday or Saturday night over at the fair. All breeds can enter, and it really is um, quite the event. You know, they turn the lights out, the uh, the kids are all dressed in. in white, aren't they? The, normally, in but in these kinds of shows, you'll have a special shirt that you'll wear okay. so everybody looks the same. Yep. You just don't have to wear your traditional white dairy pants. But okay. the judges in a tux and, you know, there are lights oh, wow. and music and all sorts oh, of I things. Didn't know so, that. oh, yes, it's quite the, quite the to do, and we are really looking forward to it. We were unable to have the show last year, but this is, uh, we're making a comeback and we're really excited about it. Okay, so tell us about the. These aren't your everyday run-of-the-mill cows. That there's a special kind that get entered into this. Is well, that correct? They really are your everyday run-of-the-mill okay. cows. They're they're at home on the farms wherever right. they're coming from. However, they have uh, qualities that are exhibited that are really standard with their particular breed. Okay. And so it's a competition, and there'll be two classes this year. Historically, there's only been one class, and it's been for two-year-olds. And the two-year-old cows had to have calved at least once, and so they're judged on a different criteria than a yearling would be or a calf would be. Okay. This year we've added a summer yearling class and the summer yearling animals have to have been born between June 1st of 2013 and August 31st of 2013. So they haven't calved yet. Um, it's a little different class obviously because there's not um, the milk production that you need to worry about or whatever and um, we're hoping to attract some younger people back into okay. the show ring with these uh, with this additional class and and how old can somebody be to show does it matter no it really doesn't matter in cream of the crop if you're showing in the regular show on thursday which uh -huh. could be 4-h or open then for 4-h you need to be between the ages of 8 and 18 and if you're in open then there really isn't any age limit and they sometimes put younger uh, children on the lead line just to make sure that they can you know grow right. into the grow into the shows. And what what type of cows um, usually are represented in this? Well, there are actually six breeds of dairy cows that you traditionally think of, and those would be the Ashars, Guernseys, Holsteins, Brown Swiss, Jerseys, and Milking Shorthorns. And okay. in the past, we've had Holsteins, both black and white and red and white, Guernseys, uh, and Jerseys. Okay. And we have this picture up there. We do. That's a wonderful picture of the Patterson family. That's a dairy family uh, in northern Queen Anne's County, and they were recognized as Farm Family of the Year. Their uh, kids are, as you can just now see, becoming 4-H age. As a matter of fact, they're in our 4-H club, right. the Suttlersville Superstars, and they also are members of the Cloverleaf Dairy Club. So we'll be really excited to see them in the show ring this year. Okay. And that's a past winner of the cream of the crop. You can see we're at the Queen Anne's County Fair, and uh, that's Pac uh, Parker and Patrick Welch and their parents, uh, Robin and Frankie Welch, and they were cream of the crop winners a couple of years ago, and that's uh, their red and white Holstein. Okay. Okay, and there's prizes for this. There are prizes for this. <laughs> and this year the prizes have been increased because we need to attract people to come again. And right. it's really, it's a big event because it's at night that we have a judge already. And the judge is Brian Lavati from Pennsylvania. So okay. he'll be coming down. He'll also be judging the regular show on the open show on Thursday. Okay. But the prizes this year for the two-year-old class are going to be 500 for first place, oh. 300 for second, and 100 for third. And then everybody else will get $50. And the then for the summer yearling class, the prizes are 300, 200, 100, and then everybody else gets fifty dollars. So there's there's money to be had. There in this. is, but it's quite the you know I mean it's really is a showcase time, right. and so it's important that we celebrate the the dairy industry. Okay, awesome. And what night is cream of the crop? Cream of the crop is Wednesday night. That would be August thirteenth, and it's at eight o'clock at night. 
So okay. it'll be in the main show ring, and you'll see that the lights will go down, and there'll be a spotlight on the judge who will also be in a tux. Like I said, we kind of mirror the futurity. So we're really looking forward to it, and we hope to have uh, participation from far and wide. So okay. we're putting it out there. And if anybody wants more information, we have your contact information that will yes. be up on the screen. They can contact you Absolutely. on your email there. And, um we, we need everybody to come out and show support for the, Absolutely. the and fair and whole and this event in particular. Indeed. And when you're finished, make sure you get ice cream or a milkshake. From the Holstein Association booth. Yep, that's <laughs> it. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Don't forget to come to the Queen Anne's County 4-H Fair in Centerville, August 11 through 16. It's fun for the whole family.